Hello everyone and welcome back you all again. Today we are going to perform a fourth activity based on tinker orbits. And the name of this activity is turn on the fan using IR sensor. And in order to start with the activity let's begin with step number 1. Step number 1 is to arrange the component. So for this activity we need one motor attached with the propeller. Second is brain which understand the logical concepts while doing the coding part for this activity. Third is IR sensor and it is used here to sense the object in front of it and on the basis of that it will generate the input for the fan to turn it on also known as input device. These are three pin connectors and it is used here to join the input and output device with the brain and power bank will supply electricity or you can set power to my whole circuit. So that's all for the component. So here in this step we are going to connect the components. So how you will start first of all you will take this motor and connect it on the brain. So in order to do that you first of all have to take this 3 pin connector use first end to connect the motor and a second end to connect it on the D6 pin of the brain like this. Second you have to take the IR sensor then you insert the first end of the 3 pin connector in the IR sensor like this and the second end you can take any three of these but this time we will be taking this. So th these are the connections of output and input device. Now in the end let's power up the brain. So in order to do that first of all I will connect the first end of the micro USB cable like this and the second end over here in this part. So you can see my circuit got powered up. Okay so this is all about the component connections. Let's move to the next part. In this step, step number 3, we are going to start with the coding part. And in order to start with that, first of all make sure your Bluetooth connection is on, on your mobile. And if it is not, so make it on. Second thing, make sure your Tinker Orbit mobile application should be installed. And if it is not, you can install it from Play Store. So let's begin. So once I'll click on it. So the first screen which I will get in this application is the empty screen. This is the workspace. Right now there is no code. And these are the options from where I will drag drop my particular blocks as per the activities. Okay. So let's first of all understand the logic for this activity. The logic is like this IR sensor. Basically assume this IR sensor ranging from 0 to 100. Why? Because this time I am considering it on A0 and A0 is basically analog and analog it means like the data which varies like it varies from range from 0 to 100, 0 to 200 or anything okay so like this so assume that your IR sensor is basically ranging from 0 to 100 and if in between that range if any object will come like my hand any other object book copy pencil anything if it will come in between the range of 0 to 100 then that particular range will going to be considered as output for the motor. Okay, so let's begin with the same phenomena. We'll first of all click on logic, drag drop it. Let's make it big little. Now, this is the if statement. We have two phenomena, we have two concepts like on and off. When, when there will be any object at certain distance and if there will be no any object at certain distance. Okay, so first of all, we'll make it to else. Okay, so if will going to be considered for on, turning on and else will going to be considered for turning off. Okay, now let's compare. So for comparison, we need this. But what we have to compare, we have to compare the data which is coming from the IR till some range. So in order to do that, we will go to sensor 
we will take IR sensor and as you know my IR sensor is placed on A0 so I'll just connect it like this now I have to bring some operation so that operation will be less than or greater than that here we are only going to use less than like this if A0 if the sensor will going to have any data less than to some value less than to some value means I can assign some value and to assign the value we will click on math and drop it here so here I am selecting my range so that is 50 as I assuming like from 0 to 100 so at a range of 50 in between range if any object will come just near to 50 the range of 50 then my motor will turn on so motor is output device we'll click on output we'll bring it here and motor is on d6 so we will consider on 6 and consider always this thing like if you are using a pin d6 d7 d8 d9 so you just need to use high and low if you will be using the data line or data pins like a3 a2 a1 a0 then you have to match the range or you have to take a variable values like 0 1 2 3 4 something okay so let's make it high high means turning on so from where you will get high you will get from output and put it here so this if will going to turn on the fan and my else, else will going to be used for turn off the fan so this is my the this is the whole logic we need and it's completed let's send this code in the brain and let's see what will happen let's first of all select the brain tinker it got selected it got paired now i will play this i will click on this play option and send my code to the brain let's hold it like this verified and the code is uploaded now so let's see whether my output is correct or not or my code is correct or not so when i will put my hand in just between range of 0 to 100 then it is getting on otherwise the fan is getting off so means it is ranging from 0 to 100 i mean till here this is the range of 100 and in between if i will come like at 50 the same thing you can see in the code then it will start moving otherwise it will remain off so that's the concept of this app in extension to this activity if you would like to add more output device for example buzzer and led so for that what you need to do you need to take one more three pin connector we will use this first end over here like this and the second end you can use it on d7 d8 d9 any any three of it so i'm using on d8 like this okay so it is it got connected you can place it here like this for meantime second thing i'm i'm using this led also so you can put it this way and second end on d9 so right now how many how many output components we have we have led buzzer and fan so i need that on one uh, while using just one ir so these all of these three will going to be turned on okay so for that we need to add in the coding also respective things for the led and for the buzzer so let's do it so go to output device for the buzzer i will take like this i will select the pin so here you can see i'm using d8 so let's select the 8 pin and similar way we will select the high and make it here similarly on d9 we have the led so we'll select it copy it put it here select the pin 9 so for the led oh for the led we need a set led so set led put it here select the pin 9 pin and go to output again and put it here so you can see motor is on 6 buzzer is on 8 and led is on 9 okay 
same thing we'll copy and we'll make it low in the else. So now you can see this is the logic for three output devices while using one IR. So let's see whether it would work or not. First of all, let's send the code in the brain to the brain. Okay, you can see it got uploaded. Now I will just hold this thing because I cannot put it like this. Otherwise it will not move. So let's see. So you can see buzzer is getting on and LED is also turned on and the fan is also getting turned on. And as soon as I will release my hand from the IR, so it will not do any function or it will not allow any function to get in. Okay, again if I do, so you can see it is working in this way. So that's all about this activity and I hope you, you got the concept of this activity and you have enjoyed this activity. Keep tinkering, keep learning, take care, bye bye.